Hello, my friends. My name is Melanie. I use pronouns she, her, and they, them, and welcome to this Friday's episode of Learning with Nature. Today, we are focusing on language and storytelling. It's part one of a two-part series. And for this session, we are going to focus on making puppets. And next week, we're going to focus on doing the backdrops for our puppets so we can have a puppet play. And that's when the storytelling is really going to happen. But today, we need to make some puppets. All right. And we have Erin here today with us. I hope that we have another show to join us. Hi. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, I just want to remind people to mute and unmute as needed. Um, today, we got a lot to do. We're going to start by doing our fruit puppets. And to do the fruit puppet, you're going to need a pear or an apple, some toothpicks, a chopstick, preferably one that has a slightly more pointy you end. Toothpicks. You got some toothpicks. Do you have a red pepper? Oh, we got two. Oh, great. You already sl sliced it up. Oh, good. Okay. Red pepper and maybe some curly kale or some curly parsley for the hair. Shall we get started? I've also got blueberries for the eyeballs on mine. But Erin, what did you bring? Can you tell everybody? For your eyeballs. Oh, uh, oh. We got raisins. Raisins. And something else too. Marshmallows. Marshmallows. <laughs> I thought that was very inventive for your eyeballs. All right. So what you're going to be doing is we're going to start with the eyeballs. You have to decide where you want to put your eyeballs on your puppet head. I've decided I want this to be the nose and maybe this can be the tongue. I think mine's an anteater. And I'm going to put my eyeballs here and here. And then you're going to stick that toothpick in as far as it will go. Not too far because you need to leave some up because that's where your raisin or blueberry or marshmallow is going to go. I suppose because you have your marshmallows, you need it to be pretty, leave a lot of the toothpick, right? Okay. So let's put our, our toothpicks in first. There we go. I've got blueberries, so I don't need to leave that much. Blueberries are short. Are your toothpicks the kind that are really pointy? They are. Mine too. They're good because they don't break, but be careful you don't poke yourself mm -hmm. <laughs> with those toothpicks. I'm going to stick the blueberry on there. Poke. And another blueberry. This is a super fast way to make a puppet. Got your marshmallow? Great. Put it in. All skewered. <laughs> you got it. Erin's putting the marshmallow on. Erin, can you slip that marshmallow down to the bottom? Right against, you want it right against your fruit. Yeah. Well, I guess it could be sticking out too. Maybe you could make like an alien head or something. <laughs> you put a, a raisin on top. You With the eyeball on. sticking right out. So now I've got two eyes. This is kind of the snout of the anteater and this is the anteater's tongue. <laughs> now I'm gonna cut up my pepper. I brought my kitchen scissors to do this. To make a mouth. Let's see. Just be careful about the, remember the toothpick is sharp. So just press it on either side. All right. All right. Now, which one do you want to be the mouth? Hmm. Do you want to pick one of those? Okay. For the mouth, I think I'm going to have to use um, toothpicks at both hey, ends because I have a long mouth. You want to show Melanie? No, this is the tongue. Is that the tongue? <laughs> you have a tongue too. I like it so far, Erin. Wow, those marshmallows make the eyes pop out. That was a good idea. <laughs> oh, awesome. Oh. <laughs> like that? 
Yeah. All right. So then we need uh, to. We record these things, but the families that watch later, they only get to see what I'm doing. I wish they could get to see what everyone else is doing. Can you take pictures of what you do today and put them on the Facebook? Sure. Yeah, we'll do that. All right. So the to, part of the toothpick that's sticking out, I brought along my garden snips. I'm going to snip off the toothpick that's sticking out because I don't want that sharp pointy thing to poke me. Ta-da! I don't like the sharp pointy bit. There. All right. All right. There is if so you have kitchen scissors, maybe you can do that with the kitchen scissors too. All right. You're just getting your mouth on there, Erin. Yeah, our pear is very soft, so it keeps wanting to. Oh, yeah. Let's see. You got it? Mine's a little bit more firm. All right. I have a firmish one. <laughs> I am so happy. To be an ant eater, an ant eater, an ant eater. <laughs> it doesn't really look like an ant eater, does it? It kind of looks like, I don't know what it looks like, like a little mouse or something with a funny thing sticking off its nose. <laughs> that looks just like an ant eater. It doesn't look like an ant eater. <laughs> I guess if it was an anteater, the mouth should have been right on here, like all around the stem. That would have made more sense. Hello, toothpick ears. Oh, I love it. Woohoo! We need more light. That looks amazing. Yeah, I could have stuck the mouth right over the stem. This is the anteater, too. Whoa, we are two anteaters. Anteater one and anteater two. What does your anteater say, Erin? I don't know. <laughs> I like to make funny voices for my puppets. All right, do you want to put some hair on the top of the anteater's head? You want to try that? Like, like some of this hair? If you've got some kale, kale works really well, or parsley. Now, the tricky thing about the parsley is how to get it to stay on. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to use a little piece. And what I find works really well is you kind of do like a crossing over of the toothpicks. I'll show you, Amy, once I get it done. So you have a, an idea of how you can do this. Okay, so what I did is I crossed, I crossed the toothpicks and the stem gets caught in between the crosshairs of the toothpicks. And that seems to work. And I'm gonna do it at two ends. Oh my gosh, they're gonna end up like horns sticking out of this thing's head. Maybe I'll leave them on, they're kind of cool. Whoa, my pair is so hard. It's actually hard to stick in these toothpicks. <laughs> it's looking prickly like a hedgehog. That would be another thing we could make. We could make like a hedgehog. Can you dance for one? Mm -hmm. That would be fun because even with uh, oranges and uh, cloves, what would be fun? Making a hedgehog. Yeah. Can you we could make that? a hedgehog. That, I find yeah. this is a really fun thing to do with kiddos and you can let them put anything they want on it and they come up with some really inventive wild ideas. Okay, I had to move the eyes on my puppet because they were, the hair was hanging over their eyes. <laughs> That's better. We've got long hair. <laughs> oh, wow. What you use, chives? Yeah, like a green onion. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. All right. We're going to take our chopstick and we're going to stick the chopstick <laughs> like a neck on the bottom of the head. My chopstick is kind of sharp at one end. You know, it's one of those pointier ones. So it's really easy to put in. There. 
if you wanted to keep going with this, okay. you could add some leaves of kale or parsley or just any kind of leaves to make like a nice little fancy okay. dress. Oh, look, or a cape or something. Let's see if I can get an elastic around here. Oh, I'm gonna go like this with the elastic and I'll elastic band all these things on here. Let's try that out. Wow. <laughs> there. My puppet has a fancy wardrobe. Or maybe they could be arms. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that beautiful dress. <laughs> I just used an elastic band to keep it all together. I'm going to cut off the ends here. There we go. Yeah. What do you think? Let's do a happy dance, okay, Erin, with our puppets. Are you ready? Right. So we'll walk and we'll walk. And we'll walk and we'll stop. Oh, yeah. And we'll walk and we'll walk and we'll walk and we'll stop. And we'll walk and we'll walk and we'll walk and we'll stop. <laughs> and we'll wiggle our waggles away. <laughs> this time we're going to jump. All the puppets, you ready to jump? So we'll jump and we'll jump and we'll jump and we'll stop. Woo! And we'll jump and we'll jump and we'll jump and we'll stop. Yeah, good stomping, Erin. And we'll jump and we'll jump and we'll jump and we'll stop. And we'll wiggle our waggles away. <laughs> How about spinning? Can you make your spin by going like this? So we'll spin and we'll spin and we'll spin and we'll stop. That's just like that. Yeah, you're doing a good job. You put it on ice, you've got it on the table and you spin it. That's a great idea. And we'll spin and we'll spin and we'll spin and we'll stop. And we'll spin and we'll spin and we'll spin and we'll stop. And we'll wiggle our waggles away. <laughs> now I wanna do some fancy dancing. Are you gonna dance with me, puppet friend? We need names for our puppets. What's your puppet's name, Erin? I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm going to call mine Sylvester. Oops. Get ready to dance. So we'll dance and we'll dance and we'll dance and we'll stop. Nice dancing. And we'll dance and we'll dance and we'll dance and we'll stop. Woo! And we'll dance and we'll dance and we'll dance and we'll stop. And we'll dance and we'll dance and we'll dance and we'll stop. <laughs> you can even make them fly. Woo, I'm flying. <laughs> that was fun. Thanks for being my friend. If you think of a name for your puppet, Erin, let me know when you post that puppet, okay? What's his name? Molly. Molly. Molly, what a fantastic name. It's Molly and Sylvester, the puppets. Fruit head puppets. Hi, Dad. No, that's not, that's not fruit. I think you folks are ready to get started on an owl. Shall we? I'm going to put away all my fruits and vegetables. Get all of those out of the way. Shall we, we do what? Shall we do the owl? We're going to do an owl. I'm just going to stick those in here. We have lots of these. Later, we can eat all of our fruit and vegetables and marshmallow. <laughs> I ate all my marshmallows. Oh, did you eat Molly's eyeballs? We ate the extras. All right. The first thing you're going to do is, and I think you already did it, right? You already cut out your owl shape, right? You folks are doing an owl, but I think I'm going to do um, a turtle, but that's okay. Sure. We're gonna, I'm going to show you what to do and um, do it together. 
I still have to cut out mine. It's hard to cut cardboard. Yeah. It's kind of resistant. Mm. I should have used my X-Acto blade, but those aren't great to have around kids. Kiddos. All oh, right. We'll do the owl, and then next time we're going to do turtles. Well, not tomorrow. Okay. That's my turtle shape, in case anybody wants to know. And I guess I'll glue some legs on it. All right, so you folks have an owl. I'm going to quickly cut out an owl shape. Do, 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 do. I like owls. Oh, this owl is going to be wonderfully asymmetric. We're also going to need a little bit of cardboard to use as the um, handle. I want to show you. I don't know if you notice this, but my owl has another piece of cardboard that I cut into this big stick kind of shape. And then when I'm all finished my puppet, I'm gonna take that stick shape and glue it on the back. Okay? Okay. All right. I'm gonna put that there. So the very first thing I did was I kind of drew on my owl, and you can use a marker to do this, to mark out where the features are going to go. Owls are really amazing. Wow. So they have this kind of triangular shape that goes from their ears down to their beak. And this is where their beak usually is, right here. <laughs> That's the beak. And then the eyeballs would go right here, which are gonna be the eggs, right? We'll do those later. The eggs are a little bit delicate. And then you wanna have some wings sticking out of them, right? And then you wanna fill up this space here. I think the very first thing I did was I think I glued on the wings. Do you wanna glue on the wings first? Let's do it. Gluing on the wings. You can use one or two feathers. I think I ended up using two for that one. So do you want to use your paintbrush and put some, some uh, cheap glue? All right. Let's see. And I want the feathers to be kind of similar sizes. I ended up cutting um, some of the end of the feather off, Amy, because the what's this part of the feather called? The quill? Right. It was too long. Like it was kind of in interfering with the look of the wings. So I cut some of that off. All right. Okay. Even a little bit more because these wings. Or you can leave it on. Wow. I think I'm gonna do better with the kitchen scissors for this. It's hard to cut feathers when they're really big. Is that, that's great. So All right. Have you got pretty good white glue? Have you got the thick stuff? Uh, it's decent. I did, I put it in the, in the, mm. oh, is that gluey? Okay, do you put I that think one? I'm just gonna use one feather this time because this one, these two feathers are really nice and thick. Those are the wings. <laughs> Do you want to show our wings? Oh, did you find some of these, um, what are they called? Uh, maple keys. Did you find some? Yeah. Awesome. I think they're really good as like substitute feathers for covering the body. But I did mine all around its head like that. So let's do the two feathers that are going to stick up here from the beak to the tip of the ear. So you got to find some feathers that are a good size for that. Whoops. 
I think I taped these two together. That one might be good. I'm gonna untape you, my friend. There. Yeah. We don't have those feathers, so we're gonna start putting on our maple keys around the top. Okay. I know, there's only so many feathers you can find out there in the world. Do you know what we did to find our body feathers? You wanna tell Melanie where we found those? Where'd you find them? We found these in a chest, in a, in, a, in a pillow. In a pillow? From you our cushion, cushion uh, <laughs> pillow. Amy. I wash the cushions, all the, pill, all the feathers fly out. So I thought, oh, we'll just wash the cushions and let the feathers fly out. <laughs> right on. And you got your, your cushions washed. What could be better? <laughs> kind of skip that part, but. <laughs> no, All right. Yeah, you the skip the, the washing part. <laughs> we took them out. All right. Let's put on these maple keys. Wow. All right. Do you want to pick these? And then we're going to put the um, eggs on last of all. Those are. Really the eggs are very delicate, aren't they? Mm -hmm. yes, exactly. Wow, I like to put on a lot of glue. I don't think you could ever use too much glue for this because you really want things to stay on. <laughs> That's like your ultimate goal here. Get everything to stay on. All right. Oh, I guess I'll have to make that turtle another time. Yeah. <laughs> turtle. What we're going to use for the turtle shell? I have a bunch of different things. Like um, when we did our pumpkin activity, I saved some of the pumpkin Whoa. seeds. Um, I've got these scrunched up leaves I thought I could use. Like I was going to make a pattern like a turtle shell pattern. I also have some beans that I harvested from the garden. You know, those garlic runner beans, they're pretty. Can I have something to eat? Are you hungry now? Yeah. You want a snack? Some mango? Sure. There. <laughs> And you're going to put feathers on your body, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, I think I need more glue here. I need more glue. There we go. <laughs> Next week, we're going to make a scenic backdrop. That'll be cool. I already made one because I have to make it to put in our promo picture. Oh yeah. So what do you use for the background? Do you just use cardboard again or? Um, for this, I used just some like thick paper. I think um, like I like using watercolor paper, but I know for most people that's a little bit expensive and prohibitive. <laughs> But like, you know, like you can buy um, Bristol board from the dollar store. Here's. I think Bristol board would work okay. Because it's going to have to like, we're going to use crayons or oil pastels, and then we're going to paint and then we're going to glue the stuff on. So it has to be able to hold a lot of stuff. Right. Cardboard would work, but then cardboard wouldn't show up the paint as well, maybe. I don't know, but I think cardboard would work. You just, it needs to be big enough to be a good backdrop size, right? Right. Right, for our puppet. I'll show you at the end what I did, and then we'll try my puppet in front of it and see what we think, okay? Okay. You want to put some of those white feathers on? All right. Here we go. Oh, you're already putting feathers on your body. I got to catch up to you. I got to catch up. 
<laughs> the eggshells for the eyes are great because they make the eyes pop out just like the marshmallow did, right? Yeah. There we go. The marshmallow all popped out from what? Like pop out of its head, like to really show up nice. Nice. I'm going to run out of feathers too. Gosh, I should have raided my pillows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're not running out. No, that's because you raided your pillows. <laughs> what? We got them from our pillows. Thank goodness for pillows. Oh, that's not going to stay down. I think I'm going to put you here instead. There we go. All right. And I need another big one sticking up there as well. I have to cut this end off. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Those feathers can be really hard at the end. Not your feathers, but my feathers are a little bit. Okay, let's see if I've got some more little ones. Oh, I like this gray one. Well, I think I might have to go raid my pillows later. <laughs> if I want this to be a really furry fella. Oops. All right. Okay, how are we doing? I'm ready for my eyeballs. How are you folks doing? Are we ready for eyeballs? I think mm -hmm. we could be. Wow, the maple keys really make the head stick out nicely. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. All right, I have to find a good eggshell. Now, the thing about the eggshell is that when you break them, they're kind of jagged. So I'm going to cut. I'm going to cut around the edge of the egg to make it a little bit less jagged. Woo! What woo? Woo! What? Woo, the eggshell popped out of my hand. Okay, now I cut around the edges so it's a little less jagged. See if I can find another one, I can do that too. All right, so are we going oh, These are a little bit different, but that's okay. All righty. All right, for this, you're going to need a lot of glue. So really glop on the glue in the eyeball spot. In the eyeball spot, you want a big glob of glue to hold onto that egg. I put a big glob of glue on there. Well, I'm gonna put the stick my the egg in. Very, very tempting. Do you want to put the glue on the eyes? Right there. Okay, so obviously this is going to have to just stay sitting until it's all dry, right? And then you're going to find so two little dark things that you can put for the middle of the eyeballs, the way I did for this fella. I think I used the teeniest, tiniest little pine cones in the world in there. But I also have these things. These are Ignatia pods. After the Ignatia flower died. Oh. Yeah, and I thought those would be good. I'm going to drop them. I'm going to put some glue right in the bottom of the eggshell okay, and then good. drop these in there. I think that's good. You put one on and I'll put this one on. We're almost done our puppets. Okay. You want to put these in the middle for the eyeballs? Let's see how this goes. I'm putting a big glob of glue on the Ignatia pod and I'm going to drop it in the eggshell. There we go. Oh, it looks pretty. Okay. I can't really show you because <laughs> then it would fall out. <laughs> I'll tilt it a little bit to see if we can see it. Right? You got it. There, what do you think? Oh, love it. We're almost done with ours. We're putting our eyes on. And then, oh, I think we're and then we have the shell for the beak. Yeah. Do you have a shell for your beak? We do. I don't have one prepared, but I'll put it on later. 
Should we put the, that one on there? I'll put some glue on. I guess the shell needs a lot of glue. You have so many feathers on that puppet. That's amazing. Yeah, the shell will need a lot of glue too. We're really using up the glue. All right, can you put his beak on? <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, how will we show you? Let's you see. Can tilt it a little bit. I would love to see it. Awesome. Oh, that's amazing. I love the way the wings are pointed down, like it's going like this. Yeah. <laughs> so later, Amy, once it's dried, you're going to cut out a piece of cardboard that's shaped kind of like that because and use a lot of glue to glue that on and then that's what Aaron can hold on to when he's using it. <laughs> or you know what a tongue depressor works well if you have a big tongue depressor. Right. Yeah. Nice this has been so fun. Even oh, I want to do one more thing before we finish. It's just to kind of get ourselves in um, mind of the different ways that puppet plays can happen. And I know you heard me read this book before but i thought it'd be fun to really linger over the pages a little bit let's see yeah should we use that yeah what a wonderful world so this book is illustrated by ashley bryan and um the words of course are made famous by louis armstrong and the way the illustrator decided to do this book is in a puppet play format. So this is a puppet play of What a Wonderful World. I see trees of green, red roses too. Can you see the, the theater? And look, the flowers and the trees are puppets and children are holding them. I see them bloom for me and you. And those are some hand puppets. The children are hand puppets. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Look at this scene. So this could be one of our scenic drawings. So beautiful. That backdrop is often, and look here, is a puppet stage with Louis Armstrong <laughs> as the little hen puppet. I see skies of blue. The skies of blue are a puppet and so are the clouds. And clouds of white. Here's a sun puppet. The bright blessed day. The dark sacred night. Now this I think is awesome. We should make some stars and moons puppets with cardboard. Wouldn't that be amazing? And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Aww. The colors of the rainbow, so pretty in the sky are also on the faces of the people going by. Aww. I see friends shaking hands, saying, how do you do? They're really saying, I love you. Even the trumpet is a puppet. <laughs> I hear babies cry. Oh, the baby puppets are crying. I watch them grow. They'll learn much more. Look who's here than I'll ever know. Look at that owl puppet, it's humongous. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. Yes, I think to myself, what a wonderful world. 
and they've got their tree puppets and their cloud and their sky puppets and rainbow puppets. So puppets don't have to just be animals or people. Puppets can be things out in the world. Like, wouldn't it be fun to make some tree puppets? Mm -hmm. I think I might have to make a tree puppet for next week. Maybe a Christmas tree puppet. Oh. And then when we do our puppet play, we can use it. We're, we're making a real, real Christmas tree. You and are? Real, little, a teeny tiny, real Christmas tree. Yay! <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to have a Christmas tree too crowded in my house for a Christmas tree. I have too many nature things taking over, but I have a Norfolk pine. So I want to show you the, um, the scenic backdrop I made so you can see, and we'll try out one of the puppets here and see how it looks. Whoops, I better not trip on any cords. Ah, here we go. There, how's that look? Oh, wow. <laughs> So you how it, it has to be big enough to be a backdrop for your puppet. So what paper did you use? Um, it's, it? just, it's, it's, it's kind of like Bristol board. Um, I have a lot, of, I'm an artist, so I have a lot of paper and I just found it in my portfolio of spare paper. I don't really know what it is. It's not the really greatest paper. It didn't hold the paint really well, but it didn't buckle too much, which was good. Watercolor paper is amazing, but that was at the bottom of the pile. So I just picked the thing at the top. <laughs> but it, it's that big. So you have it's, a big- It's about the size of a Bristol board. You know, like the kind you get at a dollar store for a couple of bucks. That must be hard work to choose that big paper. What, Erin? Oh, that would be hard work. It was a little bit of work. Yeah. Yeah. But we can do whatever we want, right? You might not do something like that. You might do something completely different. I want to see your creative work. I'm going to show you my Norfolk pine, okay, Erin? So sorry, we have did you actually have leaves on your trees or it's all painting? Oh, I put real leaves on it. That's what we're going to do. We're going to get some crumpled up leaves to put on our tree. So we're going to start by drawing with the crayon the picture that we want and then we're going to paint and then um, we're going to put some bits of nature on. So I like took all my dead leaves and I crunched them all up, crunch, crunch, crunch into little pieces and then they make great leaves to add to the tree. And then I added some other little details like beside the house I put some little, um, oh just some little dead weedy things I found in my garden. And look, I even made like piles of leaves out of little crumpled leaves. So yeah, so I think we're gonna use a lot of leaves and dead dry weedy things from our garden for that activity. And we can do anything we want. So um, it's up to you. You can spend some time thinking about what you want your backdrop to be, okay? Okay. Well, you can even pencil in some ideas on your paper to start. I don't want to be like, I don't, I don't think this has to be a work of art. It can just be fun. Well, that's, that looks like a work of art. So. <laughs> I no. spent a little time on it because I wanted to put it in the promo pic and make it look appealing. <laughs> but um, we, we just want to have fun, right, Erin? And we want to do some art together. Well, I yeah. think he loves his puppet here. Yeah, the pear puppet is really great. Molly puppet. <laughs> hey, Molly, did your head come off? <laughs> okay, make sure you eat that puppet before it goes bad on you, okay? It might not last past the end of tomorrow. <laughs> make not Molly into a fruit well. salad. Well, we're going to eat, eat our puppet. <laughs> All right. That puppet would make lots a good of fun. Time. Our little owl here is looking adorable. I know, right? I have, to add the, I have to add the beak to mine. Find another shell that will work. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. We're going to skedaddle because I see Allie is like, hey, it's circle time. Get out of here, you folks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I love yous.
Bye. Same time next week. Bye. 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 Same, same time next week. <laughs> no, sorry. That's an important detail. Next week, we're going to start at four o'clock. We're going to start doing afternoons. Okay. We'll try. Yeah, That's instead of the mornings. Us, but we'll I know, know it might be harder. Oh, you're upside down. <laughs> funny Aaron <laughs> yeah we have to start at four we're going to try to get some of those school age children to join us we'll see what happens bye everybody bye bye, bye. 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 bye.